Yo, what's up sports bettors? Alex here. I got my beer, so I decided to make another YouTube video, and this time I have a parlay. So my parlay is going to be on Fliff, and Fliff is an 18 plus sports book. So it's available basically everywhere in the United States. Fliff Sportsbook, if you haven't looked into it, I recommend you look into it. It's a relatively new platform. Again, what's cool about it is it's an 18 plus option, right? Most sports books like Caesars, Bet Rivers, you got to be 21 or older. Whereas on Fliff, you only have to be 18. So for any college kids watching this video, this video is for you. So I ended up placing a parlay on this platform and we're going to go through kind of the math behind parlay bets. So a little bit of a boring video, but it will explain to you the math behind parlays, how you can make money off parlays, how parlay odds work, right? So essentially the way that parlays work is if every bet in your parlay is profitable, then your parlay will be profitable. There's kind of a misconception that, oh, parlays, they can't be profitable. But that's only true if your bets aren't profitable. If your bets are profitable, you'll be profitable betting on parlays, right? So most people, they can't even make money betting on sports on straight bets. So they're definitely not going to be profitable betting on parlays. So what I ended up taking as my first pick is in the Braves-Royals game over 10 and a half runs. So this is a first bet that I went with, and the profit margin is 4.83%, right? So pretty high profit margin. A lot of people look at, you know, a 4.83% profit margin, and they're like, oh, that's not that great. 4.83% doesn't seem that great. But what you have to remember is this game's tomorrow, right? People talk about investing in the stock market, making a lot of money. Oh, the stock market goes up 8% a year. You're getting 4.83% in a day, right? And this is really where the power of sports betting comes in, is these returns are in general daily. And what I mean by that is you're usually betting on games that are the next day, right? Or that current day. So your returns are daily in sports betting. If you can earn just, you know, a 2% profit margin on all of your bets, there's 30 days in a month your ROI is going to be 60%. So in sports betting, it's really powerful. Sports betting in general is really powerful because your returns are daily. If you can have a 1% return, for example, betting on the MLB, there's 162 games in the regular season. So if you're earning a 1% ROI over the course of the entire season, that's an 162% return. But anyways, my first play is um, Braves Royals over 10 and a half runs at plus 175 odds on Fliff. And you can see looking at the market, it's pretty good value, right? Most sports books have this around, you know, plus 150 odds. So we're getting 25 cents of improvement on Fliff. Mm -hmm. And I say this all the time, but what's crazy about sports betting is all of these sports books, they try to set lines independently. They all want to be unique. They all want to set odds themselves. So essentially, as a sharp better, you're just looking through the market and you're looking for value, right? You're looking for big line discrepancies. And what you're going to notice is Fliff is giving you the over 10 and a half runs at plus 175. Caesars, they're only giving us plus 143, right? So we're getting 32 cents of improvement from Caesars. Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, is only giving us plus 156, so we're getting, you know, 19 cents of improvement from Pinnacle, 20 or 35 cents of improvement from Points Bet, Resorts World, and 20 cents from Tony Bet. So as a sharp better, you're looking through the market, you're looking for, you know, value, line discrepancies, and this is a clear play. So I say this all the time, but, you know, the most important calculator that you have to understand, I mean, seriously, if you don't listen to anything I ever say, I completely understand. <laughs> I barely understand what I say half the time, but this really is the most important calculator in sports betting. Like, I've studied sports betting for 10 years now, right? I always just wanted to have an edge in sports betting. And this, understanding this, what a no vague odds calculator does, is the most important thing in sports betting. So long story short, sports books right? They imply win probabilities through their odds. So what I mean by that is if we look at, you know, the NBA, the NBA games for tomorrow, the 76ers are minus 340 favorites, right? So they're big favorites. They're more favored to win this game than let's say the Cavaliers. 
The Cavaliers are still favored to win against the Knicks, but they're minus 199. So they're less likely to win the game than the 76ers are. So sportsbooks, they imply win probabilities through their odds. And what this no vague odds calculator does is it essentially just takes a sportsbook's market and tells you the win probability for your bet. So for example, we can see right here, the over 10 and a half runs is not the favorite outcome. It's not the favorite outcome, right? The game is more likely to go under 10 and a half as opposed to over 10 and a half. But based on the odds we're getting on Fliff, the juicy payout we're getting at plus 175, the crazy value, this play's still profitable. So what we can do is we can figure out the win probability for all of these plays in our parlay by looking at Pinnacle Sportsbook, which is known to be the smartest or the sharpest sportsbook in the world, right? Pinnacle is known to be the smartest sportsbook. They have the lowest amount of juice in their market. They take bets from all over the world. It's known to be the sharpest sportsbook. So you can see right here, Pinnacle has the over 10 and a half runs at plus 156. The under 10 and a half is at minus 176. So if you put this into the calculator, what this calculator tells you is, hey, based on Pinnacle's market, the over is 37.99% to win. So what this calculator does is it essentially takes the sportsbook's odds, right? It takes the sportsbook's market. So let me zoom out a bit here, way too zoomed in. Um, but what this you know, calculator does is it essentially takes the sportsbook's market and it removes the juice and tells you the win probability for your play. So first play I went with has a 37.99% win probability, according to Pinnacle, the smartest sports book, the sharpest sports book in the world. So next I went with Angels minus one and a half run line. We're getting plus 160 on Fliff. All the other sports books have this around, you know, plus 145. Pinnacle, their market is plus 147 minus 174. So if we put that into a no-vig calculator, the win probability for the Angels is 38.93%. So all we're doing is we're taking the betting market from the sharpest sportsbook in the world, and we're backing out the win probability for each of our picks. So Angels minus 1.5, 38.93% win rate. Then let's head over to the Rockies game. We'll put in Pinnacle's market, plus 134, minus 151, and we'll get the win probability for this play. 41.53%. 41.53%. And then finally, I have over 231.5 points in the Hawks Celtics game. You can see we're getting plus 105 odds on Fliff. No other sports books even giving us, well, I guess Stake is giving us plus 101, but most other books have this around, you know, minus 107, minus 105 odds on average. We're getting plus 105 on Fliff. Pretty clear value. Pinnacle has this minus 105, so we're getting 10 cents of improvement from the sharpest sports book out there. So again, because Pinnacle, they still have a little more juice towards the under as opposed to the over. So the under is going to be slightly more favored, but very, very slightly. So getting this at plus 105, the crazy value at plus 105, still justifies the bet. So the over is 49.77% to occur. So long story short, I have four bets in my parlay. My parlay is at plus 36, 38 odds. Really juicy, right? I'm betting 125 bucks to win 400. Uh, to win roughly 4.5K in profit over 4.5K. So long story short, you know, all these bets are uncorrelated. So if you want to figure out the win probability for all of these bets winning, I have all of these bets in my parlay. You just take the win probability for every single bet winning, again, which is based on the odds from Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest sportsbook in the world, and you multiply them together. It's really that simple right? So this is just multiplying together all four of these other plays. So over 10 and a half in Braves Royals is 37.99% to hit. So then you multiply it by the other four picks in the parlay and you see our parlay is roughly 3% to win. But we're getting such a juicy payout that this parlay is still profitable. It's, it actually has a 14.26% profit margin. So it's a really profitable parlay. And again, if you're placing bets, that are all positive EV, then your parlay is going to be positive EV. 
So hopefully this video was helpful. Just going through kind of the math behind parlays, let's make money.